Hello and uh, good afternoon from Cologne in Germany. Uh, uh, just welcome from Fernando Italian English to German English. Uh, David, uh, many thanks for introducing me. You are doing a really great job in those three days. But also special thanks to Miranda for a great support, support during the last time. Uh, for me, it's the first time being by ICLEVW and I really enjoyed it. Um, on this afternoon, I'd like to present some activities and uh, the results of a new education approach. It covers uh, many of uh, terms I already heard in this conference, uh, terms like Industry 4.0, Learning by Doing, um, Digital, uh, digital um, Twins, and so on. Uh, wait, something is always... Okay. First, I'm going to give you some um, boring background information uh, why, uh, why automation is so important is today uh, as training for engineers and where can we find and use automation. The main part of the presentation describes uh, Industry 4.0 architecture for remote education, especially useful for COVID-19 time and a developed digital twin for students' exercises. Um, lastly, I will finish with a view to future research efforts and uh, the area of higher education before I end this with a uh, video demonstration. So, why is automation so important today? When we started to build uh, um, uh, the large plants uh, here on the left side of this uh, slide, um, in the beginning, um, the cost of mechanical parts were over uh, 90%. And the cost for uh, electrical parts, automation parts, were, were, um, it was less than uh, 10%. But due to declining of prices, uh, in semiconductors and processor technology, more and more electrical parts um, started to be integrated into industrial machines and uh, plants. So uh, when we uh, would build the same plant today, the same plant today, um, the situation is quite opposite. The biggest um, are automation cost today, more than 60% and uh, they are uh, divided to software license, uh, cost for hard hardware devices, and cost for uh, engineering. Engineering means people um, um, uh, uh, and um, the, uh, people also like our students, uh, which we teach. So that um, I can so say that uh, um, we uh, set some uh, goals, uh, some objectives like this, creation of a concept uh, for uh, distributed control systems. Um, uh, we uh, started to um, develop um, some, um, some um, new, um, uh, uh, new uh, software tools for um, um, monitoring of a students' progress during the teaching time. But uh, let's uh, see now how the uh, automation is integrated in a program of a common, common mechanical engineering study. On the right side, um, we have usually basic modules like mathematics, physics, informatics, logistics. And on the left side um, are usually the modules like design, materials, mechanics, uh, all parts which can have, have to be manufacturing measurement and control. And uh, if uh, we focus a little bit more on the, those uh, modules, they, uh, they, deals, um, they all deal with uh, mechanical parts and automation um, as discipline is uh, doing just with electrical and electronical parts. Uh, when the students have graduated, uh, uh, they get work in different industry, starting a specialist from, uh, as a specialist for 
compact machines, complex machines, large plants, infrastructure, and in in some of sub uh, 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 or some of, of other um, um, application like woodworking machines, uh, baker machines, car washing machines, and so on. Um, um, but um, it's very important to educate them. Uh, it's uh, very important to educate the students in those uh, technologies shown here. Um, and um, it's very important to prepare them also for the jobs uh, uh, that don't exist yet, but will be created in the nearly future uh, in, in several segments. Uh, from the existing concepts, uh, the technologies here in the middle um, of the slide, um, we have develop development of working stations for training, um, which contains almost 90% of, of uh, um, all uh, automation used technologies on the market. Um, and um, but uh, let's uh, start now. Just uh, let's uh, take a look on um, how uh, what uh, con education concepts uh, are recently uh, used on uh, universities. Uh, the mode wide the the currently most widespread model uh, for knowledge transfer also on European universities is this, in some case still by passive lectures um, where due to the theoretical inputs uh, uh, knowledge transfer uh, happen due, uh, due information. Um, however, such knowledge transfer uh, through the theoretical input uh, always suffer from uh, a very low uh, recall rate which is after three months, uh, less uh, about uh, 10%. This survey is um, um, a study from uh, the company IBM. And um, applied, uh, oriented, uh, uh, applied oriented teaching with the support of uh, practical exercises, uh, simulation group works can improve this um, uh, recall rate until 32%. But we have still um, um, uh, uh, students, uh, but the, the number of dropouts is still too high. One of the main reasons for the dropouts uh, after this uh, approach is um, a high level of abstraction, uh, abstraction in the transfer from knowledge, uh, especially in met met mechatronics modules. But uh, um, um, Recently, better um, results um, can be achieved when we teach, uh, like also several times during this conference mentioned, by training, learning, learning by doing on real machines. Also, if we make the training of the students on real machine, real or virtual environment, and according to this um, uh, uh, the survey, um, the, the recall rate can be exceeded to 65% after three months and uh, which can also significantly uh, lead to better learning outcomes uh, of uh, the, the, the students' results. Um, for this purpose, um, we developed, um, developed um, a working station and um, be um, 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 uh, a working station um, uh, which uh, can um, um, active experience and and um, uh, can um, uh, make uh, the system learning by doing such an approach uh, such an approach can make the level of section of complex programming tasks much more comprehensible even when the students work in team i'm not going to explain all technologies um, uh, deeply um, in detail on this point but just to mention, um, we choose the components for data equation, um, sensor actuators, push buttons, um, monitoring and control of, uh, of machine and plants with a, a human machine interface, data processing with a PLC, uh, drives and motion uh, with, uh, 
with indus industrial communication like um, field buses and Ethernet, industrial Ethernet. A very important uh, part of education is um, involved with energy efficiency, where the students can measure um, measure consumption of um, uh, uh, energy resources on, on devices, and they can uh, analyze and uh, find the best rec recommendation how to save how to save energy. The main objective of this is to sensibilize the students for efficiently behavior with electrical energy. Also, in order to increase, uh, in order to increase uh, motivation, the students for hmm, sometimes boring topics, um, we developed also some exercises and trainings with smartphones and tablets so that uh, the students can talk with the machines and plan uh, with, uh, with a machine and plant, plant or process with the smartphone or tablet. Um, for this issue, we developed an app um, and the students can um, make the monitoring of the process or uh, get uh, emails or, um, or um, any text messages. And uh, not, uh, but at the end, also uh, safety and security is also quite important in this, in this matter. Um, at the present time, um, due COVID-19 pandemic, many lectures have to migrate to internet teaching. In most cases, uh, e-learning on digital tools are used to continue online courses like in Zoom, um, WebEx, uh, um, Adobe Connect, just to replace classroom teaching. But the most current approaches are limited just to lecture or theoretical exercises. At the moment, there are hardly no universities that can offer really appropriate practical experience, uh, exercises in, uh, in, um, um, with, um, um, with high practical relevance. Uh, this slide explains how the practical ex uh, exercise can be carried out remotely via internet. Um, the students uh, access to the, to the working station um, from anywhere, from uh, any time over a proxy server and uh, here uh, will uh, the first step is to check the username and password and then um, they uh, are going to be allocated to appropriate stations and they can work from at home and um, make the programming of the of the units make download of the units and to uh, control uh, they they work so um on each, uh, on each, uh, on each, on each uh, station, um, a working station, as a, like a, like I saw, uh, I saw here one working station, and we built twenty of those working stations, twenty in one room, and of each working station, uh, usually by uh, in present, uh, work two people, but um, uh, if we work online, one one student for the same time. And for each um, working station, we uh, provided 10 IP global addresses. And so Vol Laboratory has uh, 200 uh, global IP addresses. Um, student um, access uh, to these stations um, uh, can perform their tasks uh, and um, tasks are to programming PLC drives HMI to make download and just to check uh, the results. They are very different skills and uh, very different um, before they came to us. We talk here about diversity. Some students work very fast, are good skilled, but some and understand well and finish uh, their task earlier. But some students um, need more time to finish it. So in order to uh, optimize availability, we developed also um, 
the uh, autom automatically allocation of um, units. If uh, the student N is um, working at home and he is finished with his programming, then he um, connect to a server and on a server he is visible of a station is free uh, or uh, already connected or busy. So on this way, he can choose the first free station. He can test his programs and validate the programs. And if he is finished, uh, he can leave this station and, and make this station free for the next student. So on this way, we can work with N users. Um, uh, and N users have access to 20 working stations. So on this way we um, we um, on this way we um, increase availability of this of this station. Um, this is um, an overview. This is just an um, uh, example um, from a student at home. Um, what is doing the student from at home? On the left side, on the left side is um, uh, so it's. Um, a software environment, um, um, uh, which uh, uh, in this software environment, the student um, uh, must programming devices. Uh, devices are from industry machines here. And um, those small um, windows are uh, small programs in uh, C language or graphical uh, or graphic programming. And if students is um, finished with his programming of this task, he make um, uh, he link the, uh, he make the access to these uh, devices and can make download of his uh, whole project another side also the task of students are also to develop so so screens for a human machine interface screens like you have in your, on your smartphone um, and the students develop those screens and um, in our run timer he can um, also check uh, the the correctness of his programming. He can now start this motor or can start this motor or can start the, the changing of light um, uh, on this unit. He can also push out here a um, um, pneumatic piston. And um, with these, uh, with these uh, human, uh, human machine interface and run timer, he's able to check his, um, his results of the program. Okay, until now it's everything, uh, all the first nine uh, slides has to have to, um, are, um, are very related to um, Internet of Things in education. But the next slide is uh, really something what is, um, what has to do with, uh, with this paper for this conference. Uh, we also have achieved the highest level of digitalization education. Um, for this purpose, we designed um, a digital twin of a working station, a digital twin. And, um, and we want to be able um, that, um, that the students are able, we want to have as the students are able to check the, their programs uh, also on virtual models. It would, be make, uh, it would make a big advantages. Uh, in this case, um, several such uh, uh, CAD mo uh, models can be stored on a server and um, the student make just access to virtual model and um, we, um, some student, uh, some university must not uh, do so big investment like this here. Um, how it works, I'm going to show it in video in following on this presentation. Um, so, but just uh, let me uh, say uh, what technology are used in order to develop this. On the left, on the right side, it's a CAD model from Siemens NX. It's a CAD model, and um, with this tool, um, we developed a simulation model, uh, which is um, uh, which can uh, communicate via OPC server, via uh, OPC URA um, interface, and. Um, uh, in video, what I'm going to show later is we uh, we uh, we work like hardware in the loop. Hardware in the loop means the the PLC is hardware, but uh, equipment is virtually. Uh, 
there is also possible to work like um, a software in the loop. In this case, it would be also a um, simulated PLC, which can um, simulate this CAD model. Uh, in this case, we will talk about software and loop as also, uh, of course, possible. Uh, um, we, um, as additionally future, just to be in uh, and according to the state of the art, we implemented the, this virtual, this uh, developed uh, virtual model. We developed, uh, we implement this uh, dig uh, digital twin or CAD model also to um, um, Oculus Quest um, um, virtual reality glasses. Uh, uh, previous, we uh, uh, implemented the CAD model and read a small um, Unity, um, as on this game as software Unity, a small application in order to uh, the student can also um, um, it can um, uh, give comments to these uh, units also over over um, uh, uh, VR glasses. Um, okay, I conclude because I uh, before I start with the videos. Um, the first experience uh, we made is the students. Um, it it lead to a high acceptance by students. Uh, the fun by uh, so those technical uh, issues is very high, very good results by examination, good skilled students also for um, design of wall automation solutions. Uh, the situation of laboratory is uh, on this picture below. And those are 20 stations which are now remotely accessible and uh, for which we have also digital twins. Advantage of this concept is that we can also um, validate research projects um, and um, in, um, in these uh, industry, Internet of Things um, uh, capabilities, we can share these uh, resources with other universities in Europe. We have also experience with sharing with a uh, university in Berlin, with a uh, university in Turkey, with a uh, university in Kenya. And... Uh, also, there is also some um, um, need for research, food research. Um, we are working also on scheduling uh, tools, uh, booking services. And um, a big um, issue is to develop artificial intelligence um, um, programs, which can um, um, monitoring the uh, progress of the student uh, during a, a long ter term, about two, three months. Um, you, you you can see on this video now. Uh, on the on the right side is the, this this digital twin of one real station. Uh, the student is just uh, put this piston uh, out, and the second piston here, um, and the student is are going now to um, uh, put some commands for this red light here. Um, what I want to say, uh, we have a real real model on the left side, and we have a virtual model. On real model and virtual model is uh, controlled by this PLC hardware in the loop. So uh, it's not um, an easy um, thing because um, uh, we are now coming to this CD model from a C program. This C program is quite complicated. Also, that means um, if we work um, uh, in this room, uh, two students are sending here and can programming this real, um, uh, this real, um, this real um, uh, working station. And uh, you can see now that also virtual model is everything doing what also a real model is doing. So a uh, big advantage is um, uh, to say, okay, we have a good enough of those models. We can forget all um, equipment and save the money and in the future to work really digitally. Um, um, that is our our so our uh, this is our part to 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 um, to increase uh, some digital digital digitalization concept in education. So, okay, when this movie is just okay, um, yeah, the movie the, the movie as the movies uh, the students um, get in previous times some exercises and they uh, they solve those exercises and 
put it in the PLC and um, they can see our results. Everything is moving, everything is changing. And a big advantage is that uh, they, um, that they um, um, are learning, learning by doing, learning. They feel what, I, what is standing in the in code of program. And they, uh, they are, yeah. Okay, well, I think you can stop now the program. It's uh, uh, there is also a second video, but I don't I don't know if we have enough time. It's a with, um, the virtual reality glasses, um, and um, with virtual reality glasses, uh, the students able to uh, now to change these uh, commands of these. Uh, light and now he's going to start this uh, motor below here and the motor is going to 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 rotate and then he's going to um, to put some other commands on this pneumatical piston or on this um, uh, motion unit um, so um, so so in, in, in this uh, virtual reality uh, working station, can, uh, uh, can um, work for them. Okay. Okay, it seemed like a good, I think we were just about to, to stop. So thanks so much Hassan, for your presentation and, and the videos were really, really uh, interesting to watch and, and you know, we enjoyed that and the, especially the virtual reality and uh, the learning by doing and all the concepts that we've been talking about for three days. Those are great examples. Uh, thanks for sharing those with us and we hope to see you again at a future conference. Um,